What is up, everybody? Madcap here, and welcome back to Prime World Defenders. There's a lot to get to in this episode, so let's get to it, shall we? So the first thing is, I did go, I've been uh, grinding quite a bit on some of the medium levels, and then once I felt a little bit more comfortable, I've been grinding on the hard levels. Um... I was reliably getting through the second wave and then failing on the third one, and then the last two I've done on hard, I've gotten through twice in a row. So, when I was looking up, I was kind of looking at the forge and the how to do these again, just as a refresher, and I remember seeing something in there about being able to reliably do hard is a good indicator that you're ready to move into the boss and beyond. So, unless you can do hard... It seems like it's kind of a good idea to stay back and grind a little bit until you can get through this, um, which I have done two times in a row, so that's good. I'm going to do this on camera once, whether I fail or win, I don't know. It, it's still really close, and most like most of my hearts, have, well not most of them, about half of them probably, go away at the end. So I've been skirting through, but I feel like that's probably good enough. Uh, I've been grinding for like the past hour to two hours probably. Because that's the nature of this game. If I don't spend a little bit of time to do that, then I'm going to fall behind, uh, unfortunately. So, whew, let's see. We're at level 7 now. I think I got 6 and 7 while I was grinding. Um, I bought one more talent. I went ahead and dropped 1,000 coins on this because I'm starting to do a lot of forge work. And this is just good to get out of the way now. Uh, because 50, saving 50% 50 will save up quite a bit in the long run, so I figured why not just get it done immediately. Uh, likewise, it's probably a good idea to get this done as well, just because, I mean, 10% is not that much, but in the end, 10% on every level you're doing, that's quite a bit. So if I can get 1,000 silver, then I might just go ahead and do that, depending on what happens. Um, I haven't purchased anything from the store. We might as well do our one knight's chest per video now. I guess, get that out of the way, uh, see if there's anything useful that comes out of this. Not really, the best we can hope for is probably actually Slingshot, Fire Tower, and any silver. Prime Bomb isn't what we want, which means that's probably what we're going to get. 400 silver! There you go! I could try again, because I really could use a level 3 Dragon Tower, but I don't know, I don't really want to spend the silver on it right now. I could just do this. I mean, that's 400 or 500 silver and we're guaranteed to get a tower, right? Oh, wait, no, I don't think we are, actually. Oh, yeah, fire tower. Okay, slingshot, poison, and fire. I do need the slingshot and the poison, or the, the fire tower, so that's probably a better deal. But for now, we're going to leave that alone. Probably is going to end up killing me, but whatever. I went back and got three stars on this. Really simple, not worth showing. All I did was build wooden towers, because... Inside of my collection, which I don't know if there's a better way to organize this. Probably not. Uh, I did get the wooden towers up to level 3. Well, I don't even know what to call it. Uh, upgradable level 3. So I can get to the third level of these. And they're now level 5. So I've got the third tier and they're level 5. So these are as good as these are ever going to get. Um, and they've, they're basically, I mean, just the base tower. They can attack air and ground. And so having those level 3 at, or tier 3, level 5, was super important. Uh, I picked up a mortar. Have not used it yet. We're going to try it in this level. Fire tower's level 2. I got the slowing tower to level 3, simply because I had nothing else I could do. Um, I had got the snake tower, which is a better version of the poison tower. It's like an AoE poison tower. I only have level 1, which kind of sucks. But I still figure the AoE poison is better than single target poison dot. So we're going with that from now on. I still haven't gotten a second air guard, which really sucks because I need that badly. Um, haven't gotten a second snake tower. Still haven't gotten a second energy cannon. Um, I think that's basically it in here. I don't remember if I upgraded the poison level 2. I think I did. Um, but that's kind of how I'm rolling with that. Uh, as far as magic goes, I got the mind traps, which I personally like quite a bit, and I went ahead and took those to level 5. So they now do 810 damage versus like 400 something uh, before. And I used a bunch of my spare magic cards to do that uh, because I wasn't using a lot of the other ones. I got the meteor, which is okay, but it just, it's not enough damage. I would probably need to get it up to level 25 
uh, which I'm not doing right now. I still have my six ice emblems, which maybe I didn't have those before. I don't know. I'm saving those for some of these towers. Uh, I think that's it. So since I'm going to try and do this and this in this level or this episode, let us get right to this. This is this is probably okay. I had flying on the last one I did. These suck, which is why I wanted to get my fire tower to level three. Which, you know what? Why don't I just do it? How much would that cost? I don't think I can, actually. Never mind, I can't. It would cost 500 to buy the fire tower, and then it would cost 500 to upgrade the fire tower, so I'm a little bit off, but that's fine. Oh god, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna try the mortar cannon. I hope that doesn't kill me. Oh, this one sucks. Oh well. Also, I forgot you can rotate this. I'm not stuck with the, ro the way they rotate it. Oh, this is bad. Can I just lose this really quick and then try again? This one looks awful. All I have is range. And, like, everything is blocked off. I've never seen this many blocks on this level before. But let's just... Let's give it a shot really quick. And see what happens. Of course, we have them first. That always sucks when that comes out first. Okay, go ahead and burn them to death. Oh, yeah, we're playing this at times two as well. Because I've been grinding this, I haven't actually, uh... I haven't been playing this on normal speed. Watch out, That's coming. just a campfire, okay. And then the mines, basically what I do is I just drop these in the back, usually. I can put them maybe right here for now. But I usually just drop them back here, so it's like a last-ditch effort type thing. And then I usually like to take up my uh, arrow tower to the maximum level, get it to level 3 first. Seems to be a decent thing to do. Could also do this. Just to get a little bit of extra damage going. And this is what happens, basically. I still don't like calling the waves. It scares me. I always try to, and I screw it up. But I'll try to do it here. Okay, so we got the big guys. It's weird, because by the time level... Like, the late levels, maybe like 70 hits, it's just the giant troll guys, it seems like. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, the last one I did with the Harpies, because my anti-air defenses aren't good enough... Oh, that's not good. My anti-air defenses aren't good enough, um, I just basically built all arrow towers. Which, it worked! But that's kind of weird, so... The thing I like about the mines, which is why they may not, you know, kind of from the outset seem as good as some of the other magic spells, but the thing I like about the, the mines is that you can put them out before you need them. Other spells, you're sitting here waiting, going, Ugh, if I use this now, I've got to wait 70 seconds, and then you end up not using it. But the mines, I can just keep chucking these out over and over, and I know I've got... Uh, 18 or 1600 extra damage on the field right now just sitting there if something gets by I've got this one last little thing they will despawn eventually uh, I don't actually know what the time is on that but yeah they will despawn eventually I guess I could throw one of these out eventually these seem like they become pretty useless but I'm gonna get one just because might not hurt these stupid robot mech guys always come out with other units which sucks uh, we have a lot of these guys coming. I'm probably going to need the Dragon Tower again. The problem is the Dragon Tower starts not being any good pretty quickly. So, that's rough. But uh, if you can keep an eye on it, you can start kind of selling some of the things. Put that there, I guess. Once you see them becoming less useful. Oof. Definitely a good thing I got that there. I, I don't know. I'm not going to make it very far on this level, I don't think. There's too much stuff that's blocked off. There's just way too much. Reload. I should have gone with this one first. That, that's why I put it down. That was an accident. I guess it wasn't an accident. It was a mistake. Because this can reach here, slightly. Same thing with this spot, I believe. So that's handy. But I've already got this on the field, so I might as well upgrade it. Because... Eventually in this, you just start running with... It's just these, basically. 
because I have no other standard damage towers, which kind of sucks. Oh, there's a fire tower. If I could get that, that would be amazing. Fire tower or 400 silver. Anything but the magic light, I suppose. 200 silver? That's in the middle of the road. I'll take it. We should use magic more often. Okay, I want to get this mortar out as well. I want to see what that thing does. So, I should probably... <sighs> should I just finish that now? Well, how far is this? See, I'm, I'm basically out of spots already. Put you there. But that does AoE, so... I don't know. It might be kind of useful. Maybe. I always bring these in, thinking, oh, they're kind of cool, but then eventually they just become completely useless, so I usually just end up selling them and going with the wooden towers at some point in the game, so... Yeah. Speedsters, I don't have any poison out. That kind of sucks. Hopefully we won't need it. My poison tower's not that great, simply because it's level one, so... Based on, like, just pure statistics, I think that the actual poison tower is probably still better than this, but based on the AoE, I think that this edges it out slightly, so that's why I'm sticking with it here. Okay. I kind of even know how long this slow tower is going to work. I eventually start selling all those as well. Because they don't seem to slow down that much. Okay, this is basically the last tower I can place, I believe. And then from here on, it's just cross your fingers, basically. I don't honestly think I have enough towers to complete this, though. Which is unfortunate, because then we're going to be losing just to the random nature of these levels. Oh well. Let's head back. But at least I can put mines down, I guess. I should probably be putting one up here. As like a mid-tier. Um Yeah, I don't see anything else. Sometimes I've missed an extra slot, because they're kinda sneaky, but I don't see any. The good news is once we start hitting basically only the big guys, I can start selling off the fire towers. Which is helpful. I need to put this on a speed modifier. That would be really helpful. I'm afraid to take the fire out just yet, though. Because we're not to that point yet, so... Yeah. It's funny because at a certain point, getting prime doesn't mean anything. You're basically just sitting here waiting. Yeah, see, there's the next group of speed demons. Oh yeah, don't don't let the little teeny guys trigger my minds. And I'm doing okay against single target guys still. It's when they're mixing things like this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Thank goodness for the fire at least. It's helping out just barely. Okay. Um, mine's down. That's okay. These are all gonna be big dudes. Final wave stage two. I think these are probably about their limits. Or these being this, that one. Because the the arrow tower is doing about 400 damage. Roughly. Yeah, see, I don't think I'm gonna make it to 75. We're, we barely made it through wave two. Uh, nothing really good in here. I don't really know what the siege tower is. I forgot to look. Long range tower, slow range fire. So that's basically the mortar? I guess? I don't know. Well, at least we have the detector! I know that's going to come in handy eventually. I guess it's good to have it now. The touch for approaching. I wonder if this should go. Probably. Okay, there we go. Get another one of you. What are you bringing with you? Oh, the speed guys. Okay. 
So our speed guys on the back end should be okay. We should be able to kill them, I believe. My back end here is really weak. Anything making it through this far is really disconcerting. Because I only have three towers back here, so... Yeah... Oof. Single targets, mass guys, we should be able to handle. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I just wish I knew when it was going to be only big guys. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I should really unlock that second magic slot, shouldn't I? <laughs> that's... That would be very helpful. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it through this wave. So you can kind of see uh, what happens in the later levels of these, but yeah, it, it, it really, there's a lot of luck involved, unfortunately. And because I'm selling these, we're not going to be able to uh, get through the small guys. Even, I don't even think we're going to make it through this one. Yeah. But there you go. We got some extra gold, or silver, rather, and we got a couple extra rewards. And I got to show that off, at least. Unfortunately, it's one of the ones I didn't beat, but... You gotta believe me. I got the last two. I swear I did. They were close, but I did get them. Uh, talents. Level 8 talents are unlocked. Cool. Extra tower, we don't need that yet. Card and tower sales, we don't need that yet. I think I'm just gonna take this. I like buying things that will help you throughout everything. That's a lot of silver now, and it's not much extra, but in the end, it will add up. So what do we got here? We have speed, and we have normal guys, and a boss. Save 150 prime. Don't use magic. Whew. I could probably try both of those. I don't really think I need the mortar... Let's just see what happens. We're going to have to play it once, probably, just to see what's going on. Damn. Oh, the this level again? To block our towers. Crap. We shan't be able to pull them down during battle. We can only build new ones. Okay. Okay, this isn't good. I hate this level. Which means I need the stone guys. But let's see what happens. So we can get a feel for what we need. Um... I guess I could block using the actual towers. Hmm. Oh, right. Okay. It's this. I forget how this works. Okay. Well... Shoot, I probably shouldn't have built the slowing tower then. Take that. Okay, well. So what I probably want to do is just build my level three arrow towers, I guess. Seems like the the only real strategy here worth trying. He's going to come down here, so that's not worthwhile. I, I wouldn't like to get them down here, but I don't think I can block that much. Oh, he is coming down here. Okay. Interesting. Well, I mean, that wasn't terribly great. I can't sell. So, yeah, I think the level 3 arrow tower should be able to cut that pretty easily. Save 150 prime, though. I could do this, too. doesn't do much. So wait, if I let this go, I should get some reward, right? No? Damn, I thought I'd get like a tiny bonus. I think that's only because um, used magic to block our towers. because we can't be able to pull them down yes, yes, battle. yes, quiet, old man. I think that's only because if you survive with like one prime that's how you get it. Survive with 150 prime, eh? 
That would probably imply you can only build two towers. That was fun. <laughs> Which I don't know about that. Hmm. I think you would have to route down here. Because if it's just a straight line, you would be losing out. So probably what I could do is bring in the rock towers to make him go down. No, don't attack them. Oh, man. Okay, let's try that. Uh, exits. Two map. Rock towers cost eight, I believe. You've lost this- wait, what? You've lost this battle. It's unfortunate, but don't lose heart. Try to change your strategy. Battle is hard. You can take some easier missions. Thanks. Thanks, old man. I appreciate you. I don't really. Okay, if I take you... 150 prime. Damn. That's a lot to ask. The Forester used magic to block our towers. We shan't be able to pull them down during battle. We, we shan't. Build new ones. Okay, do this. Wait, what? Well, that sucked. Okay. I'm gonna go down here. I don't know if that's worthwhile, but... Okay, now they have to go all the way around. Through the speed tower, at least. And with a little bit of luck, the speed tower will get a lot of shots on this guy. Doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot, though. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save 150 Prime in this. And not use magic. I might have to do those separately. He is not halfway dead yet. I would have to get 170 to be able to build another tower. Which isn't going to happen in time, probably. Hmm. Where would I put it? I guess... Right there, maybe? Or maybe here? Oh, there's 170. Oh, I counted that wrong. Oops. Well, I don't think a level 1 wooden tower is going to do much. Yeah, because this tower starts attacking the small guys. <sighs> okay. Well, let's do these separately. We're going to do... The touch are approaching! The 150 gold seems the hardest, so let's do that one first. Damn it, I didn't hit the escape button in time. Restart. Damn. Damn. We used magic to block our towers. Okay, here. We can't be able to pull them here. down during battle. Here. We can only build new and then ones. Here. Here. I forgot to build one here. Shoot. That extra damage is going to hurt me probably not having it. Take that. Okay, and then Put you here. Yeah, maybe right there. Oh, shoot! I forgot. I'm God damn it. I'm not doing anything now. Crap. I was supposed to not use magic, wasn't I? Oops. Well, you know. Oh, boy. Sometimes it sucks being really stupid. Yeah, 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 you're dead. Great. Reload. When... Should I click on this just to see? Forester. Speed something, damage 20. Yeah, he does all of your health when you die. True rule of the forest and fierce guardian of all within it. Unless it is attacking a lone target, it is accompanied by a group of forest monsters. Protective aura. All surrounding monsters receive 20% less damage. That's interesting. That that means... A natural strategy for that... Would be to build like I did here. Build one tower in the front to pick off these small guys in one shot. And then as he goes by, both of these towers are doing all of their damage to him. But if you're trying to attack him with the small guys around, they're getting the aura boost. The enemy is closing in. Which doesn't help at all. 118. Okay. So, two towers 
It's probably what I could do. Okay, restart. You received a new card. Slingshot. You received that thing. You got 200 silver. Damn. Okay, uh, you shut up. So, well, yeah, okay. Here, here, here. Okay, and then we're not using magic this time. Here, here, here. 118, that means if I take one of these to level 2? Oh, crap, I forgot the thing. Whoops! Ah, oh, bloody hell. Okay, you know what? Restart. <laughs> oh. Okay, I need three of these. One, two, build, build, upgrade, upgrade, and then build, upgrade, upgrade. Maybe level two? The touch for approaching. Okay, they're out of range of that tower, which is fine. This will pick off all those, like I said, in one hit. We're going to have a little bit of a problem here as he walks by it, which is fine. They'll clean that up eventually. And then we'll start to get back on track here, I think. He's over halfway dead. 92 prime. This will continue picking those off. I can probably actually speed it up. This would be 60, which I don't think is worth it right now. But it all depends on how much damage we can get. We got him. This should be enough for 150 prime. Yes! And no magic. There you go. You Just a little bit of strategy. That's all you need. <sighs> That's an extra star. That feels good to get that out of the way, actually. Hell freaking yeah. Extra 130 coins and 107 experience. We got a star for that and 50 silver for that. Yes. Booyah. All right. So what do we got? Economical. No magic. Means we're up to 18 stars now. How much are we going to have to save for these? Magic recharge. That would be wickedly handy. So 10. I would assume this counts towards the mines. That's a lot of extra mine damage. Tower slot. Might be. Those, that's useful too. That's useful also. So we need to be saving a lot of stars. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90 stars. That's a lot of stars. I don't know that we're going to be able to do that. But it might be handy to get the extra tower slot. Probably not just yet. Maybe the extra magic slot would be useful. I don't know if the magic is doing all that much, though, yet. Accelerated output of... I still don't understand what this means. I need to go look up what this does. Output of prime from the prime reactor. 50% bonus for provoking waves early. I very rarely do that, so... Yeah. So what do we have next? Level 6, the Evening Star. Surrounded by these. So it looks like they keep these going, which is kind of nice. So at least you're able to keep grinding if you need to. Not too bad. And then we got that... Sight Tower. I wonder if I should do this now. It might not be a bad idea, actually. If I forge... No, not this. Cancel. Right, okay. I could wait, but I don't think it's that important for the slingshot. I should be spending my money on the air guard and waiting, but I don't have that yet, so... Yeah. I, you do get a slight bonus, I read, if you fuse the same towers. Uh, so if I had a level 2 and a level 2 fusing together, you get some kind of slight bonus to it. I don't know what that slight bonus is. It doesn't specifically say, like, oh, you're fusing the same two level towers. You get this extra. I think it just puts it all in these numbers, so I couldn't tell you what it does or how much. Uh, it's kind of funny to look like they're fighting each other. It's weird that they reverse the pictures for the different levels. But this will be super handy. Because when you, when you go from level 1 to level 2, you're getting double damage. When you go from level 2 to level 4, though... Uh, well, sorry, level 2 to level 3, you're getting quadruple damage. 
that's huge. So it's it's good to get from 1 to 2, but if you can get from 2 to 3, you're getting massive amounts of extra damage. So this will be good to have. That means maybe we only have to build one anti-air tower at that point to take care of damaging the flying units only as much as we can instead of having two or maybe three of these out. So that'll be super helpful to have. That's why I want to get that done. Bingo. All right, well. <sighs> wow, I actually did everything I wanted to within uh, the rough recording times that I have set. We got through hard, kind of. I got to show it off at least. And then we beat the boss all in one episode, which is good. I, I didn't want to... I, I felt bad playing through all of hard and not showing any of it, but, I mean, I, like I said, I was doing like an hour to two hours of just grinding, and I can't possibly show all of that, so... There's going to be some of that where I just do stuff on the back end. I was going to save forging the cards as well, but then I started realizing, well, I'm not going to progress any further if I don't forge cards. I'm not actually going to be able to beat hard if I'm not forging my cards and making them more powerful. So I just said, whatever. Whatever. I'll show them off on the next episode. So here we are on the next path to the next boss, wherever that may be. And we're doing pretty good so far. Three stars and everything. So let's try and keep that rolling, shall we? But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, stay metal!